Today we've got a lot to talk about as always. I've got a quick update for you as well as a reminder about that new sanctuary collection that Princess announced yesterday. And there will be a lot coming from me on that in the future as well as I track down some more information. We are also going to go over what to do when your cruise ship is going to call in Crete there on a Mediterranean cruise. We've got a visa update and lots more. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips, and today is Wednesday. It is April 24th of 2024. Let's start at the top talking about the Sun Princess. So yesterday, Princess made the announcement that they are going to be replacing the Signature Suite collection and the Reserve collection on board their ships with the Sanctuary collection. So if you missed my video about that yesterday, go ahead and go back and watch that. I want a few, to tell you a few things, though, that we need to keep in mind about this just based on what I've read a lot in social media and that I have heard in emails from people. First of all, uh, they Princess is not going to start implementing that change on board the Sun Princess until her first sailing here in the United States. So that is on October 14th of 2024. And so if you are booked and you're going to be sailing in Europe this summer or, you know, from now until she comes, that is not going to be part of your thing. Alrighty, they are implementing it starting on October 14th. That was in the information. Another really important thing I want you to keep in mind is look at your booking and see if your cabins have been affected, what it says about the wording, because I'm trying to track down information information on that. So send me anything you've got on that. Put it in the comments. Send me an email. Um, I am wondering if some of the uh, sanctuary collection that they have replaced some of the signature and reserve with, I'm wondering if that reserve status is being taken away from some of those mini suites. So like I said, I'm going to get back to you on that once I've got the right answer for you. Now let's talk for just a minute while we're here um, talking about ships. There are some cruise passengers that are not returning to the cruise port on the Norwegian Sky. So last Friday, um, two gentlemen who were sailing on the Norwegian Sky failed to return to the ship at the end of the day they were in the port there of Tortola in the British Virgin Islands and ever since then they have still not found them they have not left the island there in a way that their documents would have been processed and so that's always you know worrisome then also um, not that long ago there were a couple there were three cruise passengers also on the Norwegian sky who failed to return to the ship and all three of them were from Colombia and that was a month ago um, they don't know it was a gentleman and one lady and they don't know if they were traveling together or not um, I don't know um, what happened and so I feel like I should make you all aware of this like be careful also recently there was a gentleman traveling with his family on icon of the seas he has dementia they were in the port there in Cozumel and at the end of the port day he failed to return to the ship they have not been able to find him yet and so to me um, of course our prayers absolutely our prayers go out to these people their families and the people and at the same time such a reminder to keep track of whoever it is that you're sailing with dementia is an extra worry of course to keep track of but even if um who you're sailing with doesn't have dementia or something else that you would be worried about still keep an eye on them and make sure that you stick together don't go off by yourself somewhere um, there's just so many things that could happen I remember, I feel like it was around Christmas time. It was uh, like a 14 or 15 year old girl um, on a Norwegian ship in New Zealand went missing, but luckily they found her in the port and got her back on the ship with her family. So everybody just be really careful and take good care of each other. The next thing, a quick update, starting on April 20th, so I'm a few days late here for you, v uh, Brazil has updated their visa requirements, and if you are going to go to Brazil, you need to have a visa. I've got a website for it, and Gordon is putting the link uh, down below this video for it, but then also they have an app, which is super handy. So make sure that you look at all the requirements and make sure that you meet them. If you go to the U.S. State Department's website, you can search by country and see what the visa requirements are. So make sure you do that for the places that you're going to go. I will say that I really like that a lot of these 
countries as they require visas for people that travel from the US as well as from other places, they are getting apps which make it so much straightforward and generally a lot easier. And so look at that option if you need to get a, visit, a visa to visit somewhere. All right. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, will you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button? We'd love to have you with us and I need to have you with us. And if you appreciate my updates, would you also please give this video a thumbs up because it makes a big difference as well. Thank you so very much. Now I am going to talk to you about what to do in Crete. I'm going to tell you the things that we have done before and uh, what I would do if I had a day in Crete. So let me give you some background. First of all, I think this is really important because more and more of the Sun Princess itineraries are reflecting the change that instead of calling in the port of Santorini, the ship is going to be calling in the port of there on Crete, and I have only seen them update to the port of Hania there in Crete. And so when you um, think of the, the sh two ports there in Crete that ships call at the very most, it would be Hania and Heraklion. And so, um, like I said, it looks like the Sun Princess on her itinerary changes are going to be changing and going to Hania. So a few things to know about Hania there. You have options that you can just go into the little downtown area there, do some shopping, eat some food, walk around, and then take the shuttle or the city bus back to the cruise terminal. Or you can book, one time we booked an excursion with the ship and we went to like a little beach club area uh, where you can just enjoy the ocean, swim around if you want to, enjoy a lounger. They had food you could buy. It was, um, it was lovely. We had a nice day there. Um, or you can book excursions excursions with the ship to see other things. So let's start with what we've done in Hania and then I'm going to move on and I am going to tell you if I had one day, one day in Crete what I would do, okay? And I have been blessed to, I have been to Crete uh, several times. So let's start off when we were just barely there in March, uh, we went ahead and took the um, the day that we were there, uh, Princess Serene's a shuttle, the sh just regular buses, a shuttle that took us from the cruise terminal and everybody on the ship from the cruise terminal down to a little central area there of the town. And then back when you wanted to come back, they just ran continuously back and forth. And when we have been there before, though, there's also a city bus. I didn't see the city bus running that day. So that's probably why Princess did the shuttles. And you just take it down and they tell you they drop you off and then they tell you what time the bus will be back and you can just you know they run in a circle as well you can just get back on the bus to go back to the cruise terminal when we've been there before and this is really important if you've been there before and you think you're going to do the same thing again they have a marketplace and inside of that marketplace, there were lots of vendors selling, you know, all the souvenirs, um, all kinds of things, as well as a lot of different lot of food vendors. So you could try lots of different kinds of food while you were there if you would like to. Be aware that that is completely, it's like gutted. They are redoing it. And so that's not going to be an option if you're going this year in 2024. I don't know when they're going to get it fixed. So overall completed. So when they took us in that day, they dropped us off at the Hania Municipal Garden, which is just like a park area. There are benches. There's a place to eat if you want, like some ice cream, things like that. But from there, you can walk anywhere you want. There's a really good archaeology museum there in Hania. It's a little bit further away, but if you've got all day, you can walk there or easily get a taxi. There are a lot of taxis there, so it wouldn't be hard to get a taxi and go see that archaeological museum. We just have been there before, so we just chose to walk down the hill. And as you walk down the hill, you walk past a lot of shopping places. Not really, not souvenir places so much. I think I saw one out of all of them. But uh, there were pharmacies, there were shoe stores, there were clothing stores. I got some shoes and a purse. But um, and and um, there are some bakeries. Like go in the bakery, look at a treat, and get a treat. They're not expensive, and they're um, really different than any Greek uh, desserts you're going to get here in the United States, unless you have a you know someone from Greece cooking for you. It's really really good. But uh, anyway, so as we walk down, you get to the bottom of the hill there, and across the street is where that marketplace would be if you've been there before or think you're going to do that. As you reach that place, if you would like to go eat something, see a little bit more shopping, you're going to want to turn to your left and go back up the street that is parallel to the one that you just went down. If you don't want to walk down the other shopping street, then cut over sooner to your left as you get dropped off there so that you can go. Um, there's a lot more eating places there and some more shopping places. 
Um, so be aware you can do that. Like I said, you can book an excursion with the ship. Uh, you can do the beach club, you can do whatever is offered in the excursions. But here's what I would do if I had one day in Crete. I always get really excited when the ship is going to call in the part of Heraklion because there is so much to see there, a lot more than there is to see there in Hania. And the sh cruise lines do run excursions to take you from Hania over to Heraklion. So a few things that you're going to want to see while you're there. Um, the Palace of Gnosis is there, which um, is associated with the Minoan civilization. And it is, it's really cool to see. They've got some... Um, ruins that they came across there there they've excavated and if you have a good tour guide they'll tell you an awful lot about it you can read about it before you go and i've noticed that you can kind of book tours that just take you there and back or you can book some that then you end up with some free time in Heraklion. Absolutely take the tour that has the free time in Heraklion because you can go see um, the palace there, the Nosos Palace, and then they'll take you into town and drop you off and you can have a time to walk around. There's a lot more shopping, a lot better shopping there in Heraklion if you're a shopper or if you just like to walk around there are a lot more really good eating places there. Um, and when I say that, it's not that there's not good eating places in Hania. That's not my point at all. Um, but is what is easily accessible from where they drop you off. Okay, so keep that in mind. When we were just there, the last time we were in uh, Miraclean was in 2022. And uh, we ended up going to, there is an amazing, like it's a world-renowned archaeology museum there. So as you go through, they've got like a lot of the originals that they came across there at the Palace of Nosos, as well well as a lot of pieces that are really um, very much world renowned and so you can spend as long there as you want. I'm the kind of person I'd spend, I have spent um, a few days <laughs> worth of time there, like three days I would say worth of time in that museum, but you can also zip through pretty quick if you just want to catch the highlights. It's, it's, you're there, you should see it. Um, but then also not too far from there, it's not far at all to walk to where you can eat, to where you can shop and enjoy just seeing all of the sights there. So that's what I would do if I have a day. And if you're not really a person, you don't want to go see the Nosos Palace, get an excursion that takes you over there to Heraklion because uh, I think you will be spending your time uh, really well doing that and seeing a lot. Then, of course, the other thing would be to go to the beach thing um, because people, um, it gives you the chance to put your feet in the ocean there um, on the island of Crete, and it is beautiful. So I hope this helps you. Let me know what your questions are down in the comments. Um, I think that overall, both places are really easy to visit. Um, it is a bit of a drive to get over to Heraklion and back, and so keep that in mind. But to me, usually they have quite a long day there when you dock in Hania, so you've got time to ride the bus over to Heraklion, see everything, and then come back and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. The people there are so nice. It's such a pleasure. I get excited every time I get to go to Crete. So I know it's not Santorini, and Santorini is its own special place, but Crete is its own special place as well. And so while you might be disappointed if you booked your cruise to go to Santorini, all is not lost. Crete is wonderful, a beautiful place to visit. So I hope you, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Let me know what questions you've got, and I'm happy to answer them. I really appreciate you joining me here today, and I'll see you here again tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>